Hey there, folks. Welcome back to the photo video show where we explore all things photography. I'm your host, Mark Puckett. Today, I'm going to do a bit of some work on my A6000. And uh, I've been using these Young Nuo Mark IV flashes uh, for the last little bit. Uh, most of the time, I just use the transmitter that I also uh, got with those uh, flashes. But for some reason, just the fact that they will absolutely not work on the hot shoe, no matter what I've tried so far, it really bugs me. It's not that I plan on using them there, it's just it doesn't work and I want it to. So you guys ready? Let's go ahead and jump right in. So here's my theory. The hot shoe of the E6000 is 100% painted black and I was under the assumption that that paint was preventing me from getting a good connection with my Yangnuo flashes. Whenever I put one of those flashes inside the hot shoe, I absolutely could not get it to fire. But you can see the pen design here. I figured something must be off a little bit when I seeded it into the hot shoe. So I grabbed a couple of voltmeter pins and I was going to use those to test it, but I just decided to go ahead and use them to pop the small metal section of the hot shoe right on out of there. I had my girlfriend do it. She actually has very steady hands and she's also a microsurgeon. So I had her do it. It worked out perfect. All you do is you lift up the front and then you push it straight out. No big deal at all. It pops right out and it's actually held in place by a couple of little clips that are on the bottom end. So once we got it out, we decided to take some sandpaper, really scrub it down good, try and get every last bit of paint off that hot shoe connection. Apparently this is actually the portion of the hot shoe that creates the ground and sort of shorts the whole thing out so that the flash can actually fire. So we went on ahead and we scraped and we scratched and we really gave it a good once over. Probably worked on this thing trying to get all that paint off for at least a good 10 to 15 minutes. It's actually a, a lot harder than we initially thought. So we really went to scraping, even used a small file. Once we finally got the majority of it off, popping it back on honestly wasn't that hard of uh, a task either. I was really kind of thinking that it was going to be a lot harder than what it was, but you just push it down in the same spot and you just click it in place. It goes right in. But I wanted to go ahead and go a step further and I wanted to go ahead and where they make a connection directly underneath, I wanted to kind of scrape the paint off that area too. So I went, took the file, scraped it off, and once I put this flash back on there, I thought for sure I was going to have success. Hit the flash once, nada. Hit the flash again and nada again. All right, well, it seems like even after I did all of that work, the Young Newell flashes just absolutely positively will not work in the A6000 hot shoe. I don't know what the deal is. It's, it's like sometimes I can twist it in the hot shoe just a certain way and it will work and then other times it just absolutely won't. I don't know what the deal is, but I do have a theory. So these are the two uh, that I have. And if you notice here on the bottom of these, the Young Nuos, they've only got this one pin. And then of course you've got your little bitty locking pin that's up here toward the front of the flash. It's the exact same way here on uh, the other one. So they're, they're made exactly the same. Now, I was recently given this Aperlite electronic flash. Uh, I plan on doing a review on it, but this is the Canon version. It's the YH700C for Canon. Now, I've never owned any Canon gear, so I don't usually mess with it at all. But if you look at the pin design on the bottom of this, I have a full five pins. One, two, three, four, five, and then I also have the, the locking pin right there in the front. Now here is the transmitter that I bought with the uh, Young Nuo uh, flashes, and I am almost positive that I picked up the Nikon version. Maybe I didn't, maybe they sent me the wrong thing. I Honestly, I don't know. But the pin design looks exactly like the pin design on the Canon flash. I'm not 100% for sure if that is standard Canon design, uh, pin design. So if any of you guys uh, out there that actually use Canon flashes and stuff, 
please let me know if these are actually the uh, the Canon pin design. I've tried looking online. Sometimes uh, some of the pins are a little bit different. The configuration is a little bit different. Not really for sure. I think that these are the way the uh, the pin design is currently. If I'm wrong, please let me know. When I use either of these flashes in the new scraped off hot shoe, and I do want to give a hat tip to another YouTube channel called Photofied, and he actually showed me how to pop that out, and I popped it out and I scraped all the paint off of it. As you can see, it is a all that paint is completely gone. These two flashes will not work in this hot shoe. Sometimes I get lucky and I might make the right connection, but for the most part, these two flashes don't work at all. None whatsoever. This transmitter, every single time I put it in, works great. This Aperlite flash, which is a Canon flash, works absolutely great. In good conscience, I'm gonna retract something that I said before about these flashes. In good conscience, I cannot recommend these particular flashes at this time for the A6000 at all. If you plan on using these flashes in the hot shoe of the A6000, just don't bother. If someone out there has the Canon Design Yongnuo YN560 Mark IV flashes and the pin design looks like this and not this. Please let me know because this pin design seems to work every single time, even when the hot shoe was fully painted. This worked just fine when the hot shoe was painted. This flash, which is the Aperlite, worked just fine in this hot shoe when it was painted. These have never worked in this hot shoe. And now I can confirm that even if you scratch off all the paint to make a better connection, these flashes still will not work. That it's very intermittent. Or maybe I'm just doing something wrong. And I think that was the reason why I said that I thought I had the hot shoe fix because I usually never use a flash in my hot shoe. I always use like a radio trigger but I do believe that it has a lot to do with the pin design and not so much the painted hot shoe. Again, I could be wrong. I am only human. I have made mistakes in the past, but I think that that's what's up. So there you have it, there you go, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that I save a few people out there for uh, you know not having to go through the same hassle that I've gone through. Um, I did wanna let you guys know one last thing before I left is that I do seem to have a bad copy of one of those Young Nuo flashes. Um, one of them works perfectly fine no matter what power setting I put it on, but the last, uh, the other one, it does a full power uh, flash every single time. So no matter what I put, what power setting I put it on, whether it's a full one to one or if it's one one twenty eighth power, it is full power every single time. So I'm gonna have to use the power of Amazon's return policy and get me a new one. Thanks again for stopping here at the Photo Video Show. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, and I will see you guys again on the next one.